Hello guys, welcome to the Hive Production. In this video, we are going to create an amazing gesture board for the cosmetics display in 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. First of all, I'm just going to draw a simple box. And the box has to be uh, 3 feet width, 2 feet length, and height has to be 3 or 5 inches, I guess. 5 inches will be good. At 3, yes, you can have 3 inches. And uh, now I'm going to make it to the center first and then go to the create a box, which is approximate uh, 4 feet height. And I'm just going to rotate a little bit from the left viewport. And I need to adjust in this form or maybe I think we should uh, decrease their width approx uh, one and a half feet and we'll have to do this uh, the width should be and the height has to be four and a half feet okay so we have these two boxes one is the base and second one is the our boxes and I'm going to take the duplicate with the whole shift key and drag your mouse I need to rotate a little bit some more and increase their length and we need to place it on here like this we need to little bit work on the placement of these objects we have these three boxes I'm just going to change the color so I can see them in the viewport so I'm going to create a line and throughout the line I'm just going to create stairs or steps like this. I think we should try one more time like this. Okay, that's perfect. I just need to close this part throughout. I'm going to select the vertices and adjust their uh, stair size like this. And uh, here I'm just going to apply the modifier which is called the extrude modifier and I will extrude there and them so you can see their depth is coming the depth of these stairs are coming and I just need to place it like this so there you go and uh, that's perfect okay fine so what am I gonna do I have this design in the Adobe Illustrator and this is the logo is called the Air Expert. Uh, so I'm going to import them. So I'm just going to go to the logo first, import them. And uh, here is the logo of HH. So I need to rotate them. Bring on the top increase their scaling and uh, what am I going to do I'm just going to apply the modifier on it and uh, the modifier has to be called uh, extrude modifier so we need to apply the extrude modifier give them a depth it's too much little depth and placed on here on the top of my or maybe you can call it the header part here so now I need to import my another design which is called this design so I need to apply my border I'm gonna give the name is called borders so just wait and it will come out here this is here so I need to apply extrude modifier as well here you need to rotate them adjust them and now apply the extrude modifier here is my extrude modifier okay give them a little depth inside of it and as well I'm gonna to go to the box and I will draw a box from the front viewport inside of this design. That's perfect. 
just meet up their boxes fine decrease their depth that's perfect okay now when I to placed on this player but inside of the here under the under those box so just need to set like this well this is perfect we need to place them in the center so that's perfect with them here so here it is my design on the top is my logo and uh, I have already created some steps for the product display okay moving over next step uh, I just need to find out this is the bottle and you can already have seen my this product modeling tutorial so I am just going to merge or import my this product on the on this gesture board so it is my product I'm gonna import this product here and will display this product on the steps so from the this part I need to see on the top just open their group select this box because it's, it's in rotation position so we need to make it straight first here and placed on the another step or other steer here it means that on the first you can find out the box and the behind of the box you can find out the main product bottle so I'm just placing this one here like this okay close this group and you can hold the shift key and uh, drag your mouse with a duplicate and I just need to take out some four duplicates so these are my four bottles here four bottles and I'll take another bottle which is going to be my fulfill here okay so we have done on the modeling part uh, we have created this which our boxes our logos need to decrease their scaling sizes so it is by product display chester board okay fine so moving our next step I just need to go to the render settings I'm gonna apply V-Ray render and you can just follow these instruction which is on your computer screen so now you only need to follow these steps uh, on your computer screen for the Good render settings I'm gonna to go to the material editor now I'm gonna take the video material first and I'll apply white material or white color on these bodies okay perfect I'm gonna take another video material and I'm going to apply this color on this part okay take the V-Ray light material find out my yellowish color or goldenish color and increase their intensity which is approximate uh, 5% perfect I'm gonna assign here so that means there are lighted, back, lighted borders I'm going to increase their scaling depth perfectly done here and furthermore I need to go to the this logo so first I'm going to apply this color here with some reflection and I'm going to convert them into editable poly take the polygon and make them inch inward with control I and apply this light material on this background convert them into poly make them bring them connect the edges of two perfect so select this reverse ring edges and apply this light golden color convert them into it will poly of the base as well 
same process select the edge make them ring connect the two edges and inside of it you can apply this time extrude and now apply another color white material which is this one and their borders has to be brown all right that's perfect so select uh, this stairs convert them into poly select their edges only on the stairs make them one edge okay and placed on here same process select this one take them one edge and take their polygons select them and apply this light material best in the end I just need to find out another thing I'm gonna go to the box sorry select the line and I'm going to draw the behind bar box which is the actual support of this box and I'm gonna apply extrude modifier to give some depth yeah well it's a box for the support I need to decrease their depth from here that's perfect and now uh, our chest board is almost ready I'm gonna take the cylinder and I'll take a little cylinder to show the light source under the product display box I'm gonna convert them into poly I'm gonna select the insert them and assign this light material oh. so here it is my light material applied on here and I'm gonna select this one scale down make them position and rotate them according to the directions of this object so here I have applied this that's perfect I need to apply V-Ray light as well because if the light source is present so we should apply the light under the of air so I've applied the light as well rotate the light and also go to the parameters make them invisible and uncheck the reflection and specular that's perfect okay so one more up thing is missing is the name is called herb here oil I'm going to save this one and we called herb with the 8 version in Adobe Illustrator and now I'm gonna import the herb which is actually the name of this oil herb here oil it's called herb here that's HH so we need to rotate them that's perfect I need to apply the modifier which is called the extrude modifier first need to set on the front header like this perfect and now we need to select go to the extrude modifier too much yes not too much it's just a little bit placed on here apply this brown color to highlight the name that's perfect I'm gonna select all of them make them group it's called my Chester board I'm gonna import and merge the V-Ray Studio Lite setup which I've already designed so you can go to the my account you can get the link in the description and let me show you what was that this is the V-Ray Studio Lite setup there are three lights one camera and the one cylinder it is the setup and you can get the link in the description and it's totally free for you guys so you can import and place your model inside of it and make them render so I'm just going to uh, place my 
this gesture board here. I need to place this one like this. The straight. Also, oh, I need to select the camera and camera has to be straight. So I'm going to select the camera like this and from this point I need to set this. It means my object will going to be straight focused on it. Okay, so one changes I would like to have in it. So we just call this one. I'm going to take the duplicate. I will rotate this one from here and uh, another duplicate, sorry, rotate from here okay need to make it a uh, little bit behind of it make it closed perfect and uh, now what am I gonna do I'm gonna go to the perspective ungroup and this from this part I'm gonna delete my product so I can I want to show the Chester board without product and with product as well both of them so i'm going to take the render let me show you what kind of a render you we can get with our chester board so here is my render and looks big looks very beautiful with outstanding lighting and i would like to say thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like this, so subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.